That was supposed to be a lot cuter. Hi guys. So it's um two o'clock in the afternoon. And yes, y'all read the title correctly. No, it's not clickbait. Yes, I'm actually getting my tongue pierced today. So I I can't believe it either. Even with all the piercings I have all over my face, I have four piercings in my nose alone. Plenty of ear piercings. You know, this isn't anything new for me, but um, a piercing in my mouth most definitely is. And I'm excited, but I am definitely nervous. You could tell by just the way I'm talking. Let me calm down. Um, yes, so I am going to a tattoo parlor to get a needle in my tongue today by choice. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense to me either. Hey! Hey! It's not warm yet, but uh, we're getting there. What? The car. Oh! I'm here with Lee! Hey! And uh, yeah, so basically that's what I'm doing today. It's weird because I know tongue piercings can be somewhat of like a controversial piercing. I feel like everybody has a strong opinion on it and they either love it or they hate it. And I completely can see both sides. I've actually been a little iffy about it myself, but the good thing is if I don't like, I don't it, like it, I can, I can take, it take it out. But, but I really I think really I'm- And I'm able to, you know, change out the bar to something smaller, a little more discreet. I think I'll really like it. It'll be, it'll be pretty low key actually. You won't really even see it unless I'm talking, but I'll probably be playing with it once it heals because I think they're very cool. Right now, we're about to go get some food. About to go downtown, check out this new spot that we've never been to before. My appointment isn't until 6 p.m. tonight, so we're just gonna be hanging out, eating, doing our thing until the time comes. All right, you guys, so we just got to the restaurant that we're gonna eat at. There's people seated, so I'm assuming, you know, we could get a table and just kind of chill here. This place is downtown, so, um... Ah, now I forgot what I was gonna... Girl, how about you? Okay, back? sorry. We're just gonna go ahead and head inside, see what they have to offer because we didn't even look at the menu before we came here. And just go from there, get some food in We're our just stomach. Chilling. Yeah. Chicken and That's fine. Bye. All right, I was about to say we're inside of this restaurant, but it's actually outdoor. You sit outside. Do they have indoor seating? Ooh. They do? Oh, well, we're sitting outside in this cute little tent. It actually feels really good out here. <laughs> so we just got out of um, the little restaurant seriously so good i ate four tacos and a quesadilla it was super good it was so nice to have something other than chick-fil-a so now we're about to go to what, this parking deck to go take some pictures because it's been a minute and since we're already downtown we're gonna go to a parking deck that we haven't gone to as frequently which is a good thing because it's time to switch it up again. let's see where it's it like is it's like I get so cold that like keeping the mask on feels so good. Yeah, I, yeah, I get what you mean. It's yeah, like, it's I mean, it does protect you. It's like warm. Yeah. Hot ass breath. So basically, we just have to pull out of this parking lot thing first. And it's kind of weird because straight from the parking lot, you go right into the road. So it's kind of hit or miss, right? Right. Chili. Yeah. You want gum? Please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So why is the light red? I'm gonna go. What do you mean go? No. <laughs> a long time ago. I can't make a left on red. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. Can someone tell him you're not supposed to make a left on red? You can make a right on Girl, red. it did not have that sign. You see that sign right there? Yeah, that means you just can't turn that way, period. That's why it says one way. Why did I get so defensive? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were in the fight, that's what you had to say. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy arguing, I missed the turn. Look at you, about to turn on red. You could have done that back there. No, yeah, that was a left. You can turn right on red. Left? No, that doesn't work. Oh, really? Yeah. I never heard that before. Really? Yeah, it's right on red, but then left. Ooh. Ooh, looks like it's being renovated or something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Literally just drove in a big ass circle because I can't follow directions. It's downtown. They're so easy to miss. Close as fuck to that car. Let me just back up. I'm parking here though because it's so close. But... 
All we have to do is go up that elevator and then go to, I think, the seventh floor. Okay, we're here. We're about to go upstairs onto, oh, we're in the parking deck, but we're gonna go on top of it. I was just in this elevator to get my hair done. Oh, it's here? Mm -hmm. Well, it's literally like a walk down the street. So high up. <laughs> We're here. Okay, so we just got back from being up top of the parking deck to take some pictures. When I tell you it is freezing, my hands frozen, my nose. I'm surprised it's not red, maybe because I have makeup on it, but my nose is very cold. And it's just not the best weather to be taking pictures in. It's never But it's okay serious. because um she needs some, so. It has been a minute since I've taken pictures. It's 48. It feels colder than that, doesn't it? It does. I thought it was maybe 36, but we're about to go back home now. You guys, it's getting to that time of the day. I'm about to brush my teeth again. This will be my second time brushing my teeth today because, you know, I've eaten food. I don't want, you know, my piercer to have to be in my mouth with some hot ass breath, a dirty ass tongue. And I don't want to be pierced with a dirty ass tongue because that just is giving me, you know, infection. Don't want that to happen. I can't believe I'm about to do this to myself. It's fine. I'm dramatic as fuck. I went, I put toothpaste on my toothbrush and it just rolled right off. About to brush my teeth and my tongue, gotta prep for this appointment so I don't feel bad for him. <laughs> Last time we gonna see my tongue with no jewelry in it. I had to make sure that tongue was clean. All right, so just had a little pep talk with Lily. <laughs> I'm very nervous. Uh, yeah, somebody explained it to me. Your mind is excited, but your body is like reacting to. You're good. You're nervous. Yeah, literally. You're I'm literally trying to imagine like sticking my tongue out and allowing somebody to stick a needle through it. Imagine some people do this shit at home by themselves. That's crazy. True. Literally by the end of this video, by the time I go to sleep tonight, my tongue will be pierced. That's insane. And I'm not gonna chicken out. I've never chickened out out of any piercing, I mean, any tattoo. Fainted. Yeah, I may have fainted. <laughs> At least I got it done. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Tamia just texted me. All right. Hey. hey. We're walking to the car. About to start heading that way. <laughs> oh my gosh. You've been, you've been debating whether or not to get this for a while. I know. Well, first of all, I was originally thinking about getting the snake eyes tongue piercing, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically hold on. It's basically the piercing that goes through the tip of your tongue, like that. So there's a ball on each side. But I was looking into that one, and I just wasn't willing to risk all of the health concerns and dental concerns that it can cause. But regular tongue piercing, it's not the most recommended, but I definitely don't hear nearly as many negative things about it. But a lot of people get snake eyes piercings, and they're good to go. So I'm not saying it's impossible. I just, that scared me out of it personally. Um, Drop my phone. If I don't, I'm not going back to get it. How are you gonna get the reactions now? <laughs> oh, it's right here. All right. <laughs> it's 5.33 and my appointment's at six. Yo, we are so close and the nervousness just, you know, it's building the closer we get. We're not even a minute away from the building now. So, uh, don't know much else I can fall back onto for me here. Oh, it's literally a green light. I'm, I was looking at that. That's bad. Um, <laughs> I literally say in every video I can't drive. We're literally here. I'm gonna show you guys, like you guys are gonna go in with me. Lee isn't gonna be able to go in with me as far as I know because the last time I checked, they're not allowing any guests. You just have to go in yourself. Um, so that'll be interesting. We're literally here. And I was just here a couple days ago. We are literally here. The building is right there. At this point, they even give you like a gold card and <laughs> free tattoos. Get like a little uh, card I can punch out. Yeah. So it's piercing, you get a free one. <laughs> some shit like that. Exactly. It's very Damn, I really wish you could go in. That sucks. Okay, you got this. You got this, you got this, bestie. You got this. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go inside so I can use the bathroom because I'm just 
very nervous. And let's just not add any extra drama to it, right? Let's get it done. No, this can be so quick. You just close your eyes and you're good. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, uh, should I just leave the car on? Uh, no, you don't have to. Are you sure? I'm positive. Okay. Uh, do I leave my keys in here? You can. You don't need your keys in there enough. <laughs> Bye. All right, good luck. Thank you so you much. Text me when you're on your way out so I can film. Okay, sounds good. We are walking up to the building. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, I'm good. How are you? Good. How can I help you? Um, hi, I'm back. Um, I have an appointment with Sean at is six. Hey. Yep. Okay. Definitely. My heart. Can I use the bathroom? I have to use the bathroom. How are your doing? What'd you say? How are Oh, they're doing really good. They're healing nicely. That's good. I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Oh my god. Alright. Out of the bathroom. Er. I'm gonna take that first cup and swish out with it. Just put it back in the cup and you're done. I'm very done. <laughs> you look. There's one. <laughs> just put it right back in the cup. Bang. So the bar that you pierce me with, is it gonna be longer than Yes, yeah. just in case it's swollen and then you get you Depending on my tongue, like how it's centered in my tongue, right? Like, yeah, yeah, once you stick out, we'll see how far out your tongue will go. And then uh, that's where I'll determine like how far my back is. Good? Is it hard to keep your eyes open when you're getting eyelashes on there? Marissa wears those um, things too. Was, uh, really? Yeah. Not really. I used to get eyelash extensions. These you just glue on. Marissa did that for our wedding. Really? I got them like, yeah, like the last round. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, like roll out of bed, take a shower, leave them. I think it's like a long ass bar. It's gotta be more just really small. Am I gonna wake up and it's gonna be like, my tongue will like eat the bar? Nah, it'll be fine. Alright. Same time, as far as you can. I don't even know how to do it. Like, how do you have those at the bottom? Oh. I know you know what you're doing. I'm just trying to do something. Alright. Alright, see what's happening right now. Can you hit that on the top? Cut the bottom. We'll be on the top of the line. You can pull your tongue. We'll be on the top of the line or like in the middle? I'll do it in the middle of the line. If you're good with that. Or I can go to the back of the line. I kind of, I think I want a little bit further back. Okay, right, towards the back of the line? A little bit. Or farther back? Yeah, I want on the back of the line. Okay. If possible. Yeah. Baby, when it's back, it's good. Nope. Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, I don't know. 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 That was not bad. Won't do that? I don't know. Stick it up for me. Alright, let's go on. Yeah, it'll definitely suck for the first couple of days. So I'm gonna give you this cup now. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> My cum kill is dead. <laughs> <laughs> feel all right? So with the tongue piercing, you're going to be switching out a lot. I recommend you just get a full bottle of antiseptic mouthwash. Doesn't matter the brand, you all right? Mm -hmm. Just get a brand, get a full bottle, pour half of it out, fill it with water. Because you're going to be doing it so much that you got, okay. it's got to be diluted. Okay. Um, and then uh, just switch out anytime you drink or smoke. 
Unless, unless it's water, of course. Okay. So yeah, I usually recommend keeping ice on it for the first day or so, just okay. to try to prevent the swelling. And also taking like, it, like oh. just like regular piece of ice, like just put it in your mouth, let it sit there. Okay. Don't chew on it or suck on it, just like kind of let it sit on your tongue. Okay. Avoid anything like hot or spicy or acidic, like mm -hmm. orange juice, tomato sauce, stuff like that. Okay. Hot sauce. And then, like I told you the other day, you're going to want to do the ivy for the mm -hmm. first couple I've days. Before. Did you? Yeah. Cool. And then take it for a couple days just to kind of prevent swelling. Okay. Yeah, I think you're going to be swishing. Oh, good. <laughs> you got any questions? No, I think I'm okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Check it out. Okay. Right okay. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. That, I was definitely, I mean, I'm always dramatic every time I. How was it? It was not bad. <laughs> at all. Wait, I want to see it. Here. I feel nauseous. Really? Yeah. Okay, here. I'll show you. Alright, we should go to Walmart. First. I'm not sure, you know. Were you nervous? Uh huh. But I just. Oh, I can see it. Yeah. Don't try and force it out. Okay. I want to talk so bad. Like. Oh, my God. My tongue is fierce. Look at me this way. Oh, yeah. The bar is so long. Okay. So, I was super nervous going in because I think just the idea of getting a needle through your tongue is fucking scary. It is. But I had heard so many things about the actual piercing itself not being bad. So, he marked it. He put the little dot on it. He let me stand up and see what it looked like. I liked where it was placed. Well, at first, I didn't like how low it was going to be, so we put it up higher. Or he pierced it. He put, like, a line on my tongue, and I wanted it on the higher part of the line. Once I sat back down, he dried my tongue, put the clamps on my tongue, and he just got the needle out, and I did didn't hesitate like I didn't have him wait or anything like that because the sooner I let him do it the sooner it would be over with and the actual piercing itself barely felt it it really wasn't bad but now it just feels so weird like I don't know how to it's like uncomfortable right now yeah my tongue feels dead that is insane I hope she gets her <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> okay, first things first. Did it hurt? No, it didn't. It didn't hurt that bad? It literally is the least painful piercing I've ever had besides my little low piercing. Okay, then, but you're talking like it hurt. Oh my God. <laughs> my tongue feels dead. Like I can't move it. It feels like there's like, look. Let me see. <laughs> I love it. I just feel like I can't talk. Like, I'm gonna have to get used to it. It feels so heavy in my mouth. Girl, oh my god. Did you at least eat today? Because you're probably not gonna be able to eat tonight. I did. I did. I'm definitely gonna want to eat again before I go to bed, but I'm gonna have to figure something out because I have to love. Yeah, I better get some chicken noodle soup. Right. I do need to get, yeah, I should get soup and like some yogurt, stuff like that. I'll, <laughs> I'll text All you, okay? Right, bye. bye. Bye, sweetie. Love you. Be safe. Love you. Thank you. Oh, she's so nice. Hey, bitch! <laughs> Did you get your tongue pierced? I did, and I can't talk. <laughs> I'm like, hey! Uh -oh. <laughs> hey! I'm done. Oh, look at it. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Is it swollen? Uh, not yet. It feels so heavy. <laughs> this, this, I was expecting it to hurt, but it really didn't hurt. So it's very, very dark. Why did I say it twice? All right, guys, so it's really dark. It's only, it's not even seven yet, though, but. So we are about to go to Walmart because I need to get mouthwash to clean my mouth, clean the piercing out for every time I eat, and also get soup so I have something to eat that I don't have to chew on because I can't even imagine trying to chew right now. It's been almost an hour since I've had the piercing so far, or a little bit less than an hour, maybe like 45 minutes. It's still not painful. It's a little bit sore and I was trying to drink water and even water alone was burning when I was trying to drink it. Not to the point where I couldn't do it, but I definitely felt it. But yeah, we're gonna go by the store. I'm definitely going to continue this video into 
tomorrow because I'm very curious to see what it's gonna be like when I wake up in the morning, if it's going to swell, how it's gonna feel when I first wake up because if anything, it'll probably be at its worst first thing in the morning and then over time throughout the day, it won't be as bad. I feel like it's hard to swallow because <laughs> I feel like I can't really use my tongue right now. Like I'll be foaming at the mouth before I actually am able to swallow. But overall, good experience, not bad. It's just weird placement. Different area. I keep going like this as well. Yeah. <laughs> I like how deep in my mouth it is. Like you really don't see it. You can barely, you can't even see it when I'm talking, barely. You may catch it here and there, but I like how low key of a piercing it is. I'm glad we went further back. That's, yeah. And I like how it sits in my mouth because he made sure that it sat at an angle so it doesn't rest on my teeth. I don't feel it. It's not touching my teeth at all. So that's really good. And it's also slightly off centered as it's supposed to be. So I literally don't bleed it out. So that's good. He knows what he's doing. I just asked him a bunch of questions in the process of getting it done because that's what I do when I get nervous. Even if they know what they're doing. I know they know what they're doing. I make sure they know that I know that I trust them and I know what they're doing. <laughs> Girl, I, why I, are you rambling at this point? I still, <laughs> I still Oh my gosh. As you should, because you gotta ask questions before someone sticks a like, needle to your tongue. I do. Ah! He should let me know when you want to do anything else. I don't know what the fuck else I'll do at this point. Right. I think I'm good. <laughs> what else is there to do, love? <laughs> we're in Walmart. Ah. Oh yeah, so we're in Walmart now and we're going to the soup aisle first. And then the mouth or the oral, oral hygiene aisle isn't far from it. We've got all the different soups. They're chicken noodle right here. Um, oh, no chicken noodle. Huh? They're not chicken? I want chicken. Oh, there's some over here. I don't know how long I'm gonna be eating like this. I don't know how many to get. You might be surprised, maybe you might like it. Oh, I think it'll actually be good. Mmm. I should've got a cart. Thank you. I'd rather really get one so I don't really have to chew much. Okay. Okay. This is a mouthwash that he used at the shop. So I'm gonna get the same thing. You get this one. I think that's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. In and out trip. That's good. One more trip successful. That what we needed. Okay, so how are you feeling? One to ten. How was the pain? Uh, I'm pulling off a three. three. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. What's good, doggy? Oh. Uh. All right, guys. So I'm home. I just looked at my tongue. It swelled up so much, so quick. <laughs> my tongue. <laughs> Holy shit, it's so big. That's crazy. I was kind of nervous that I would actually feel it swelling up. Um, I didn't. Oh, my lips blue. I'm tripping, let me calm down. I can definitely see how it's gonna be, you know, sore in the morning with all of the swelling and me talking. I'm trying to keep my mouth movement at a minimum because when I really open my mouth to talk, that shit hurts. Or it's sore. I got soup, but honestly, I'm really turned off to the idea of trying to eat right now and I'm not super hungry. So I don't even know if that's gonna happen. If I get really hungry, I'll definitely, you know, work it out, but I'm not, so it doesn't really I don't really want to go out of my way to eat because it's so swollen and it's starting to get sore. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a perfect example of why it pierce you with a long ass bar because it needs all that room to swell up on your tongue. See what fits back on my tongue. I am so excited to take off my makeup, take a quick shower, put my hair in a bonnet, and I'll probably say go to sleep, but I'm going to be editing tonight, so I'll be up for hours before I go to sleep. So I'll be able to update you guys right before I go to bed, how it's feeling hours later, and then also how it feels tomorrow. I have a feeling tomorrow is going to be probably the worst day. I'm not completely sure because everybody's healing process is different, but I feel like after the first day, it couldn't get worse than that, but uh, 
You never know, so let me not even, not even say that. Cause I did my research, but everybody's body is different. So I am out of the shower and we're about to go to the kitchen and we're gonna warm up some of the soup and see if we can eat something because my stomach's definitely feeling a little empty, but I'm definitely gonna show you guys what it's like to eat for the first time with a tongue piercing. It's definitely swollen. How the fuck am I gonna brush my teeth and clean my tongue? How the fuck am I gonna brush my teeth with all that shit burning? If water burns, this would definitely be interesting for sure. Even me trying to drink water is ridiculous. I cough on it every time. I'm trying to really separate me just being overly cautious when it's not necessary to, you know, what I actually need to do to protect my tongue from hurting even more. If that makes any sense at all. I have my soup here, I microwaved it. We're gonna see, I don't want it to be too hot. I feel like that would burn. Okay. I guess I just dump it in my mouth. Like, I'm thinking breakfast tomorrow, what the hell am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm about to edit and I'm very excited. I'm gonna try to eat it on the side. <laughs> like, I don't wanna put soup on a piercing that I just got, like on a fresh piercing, that just sounds disgusting. I don't know like what in my mouth is the ball of the piercing and what's like food. <laughs> this shit is good though. It's doable. It's uncomfortable. It doesn't necessarily hurt. It's just uncomfortable. It will hurt if I accidentally bite on it or something. So I'm trying to be super cautious. I'm also able to chew on my side, but it's kind of hard to get it over there without me messing with my tongue piercing this is this video is gonna be so funny to look back at once this is all healed and I've changed the bar and everything to see how much I was struggling with it before I think the main thing for me is just how disgusting it is to eat with a fresh piercing in my mouth but you kind of can't get around that <laughs> I was gonna eat and edit at the same time but I feel like that's not smart considering it's hard to feel the difference of what's what in my mouth so if I'm not paying attention I feel like I'm gonna accidentally do something and it's gonna hurt Okay, so little update. This is how much soup I ate. Look how I'm sitting on. It's been a good 45, 50 minutes and I'm still editing, but I've also been kind of eating on this or sipping on this and I didn't eat a whole lot, but one of the two reasons that I haven't is because when I'm editing, I'm not really thinking about the soup. Let me tell you that not talking is best for me right now because I don't feel shit when I'm not talking, but talking definitely kind of irritates the bar. Every time I talk, I feel it going, the bar going up and down in my tongue, which probably is not best, but my soup is cold at this point but I'm gonna still eat it. I don't feel like warming it up again. And also, probably better on my tongue. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my thing. And then by the time it's time for me to go figure out how the hell I'm gonna brush my teeth, I'll talk to you guys then. Brushing my teeth, <laughs> I'm not excited for. <laughs> my lack of expression is making me laugh, which makes my tongue hurt. So my shit is definitely very swollen. I'm about to try to brush my teeth and just hope for the best that it doesn't burn like crazy. But I do need to brush my teeth because I was just eating. Tell me why I try to eat goldfish and I can only eat it like halfway and then <laughs> kind of wash it down with water. So tomorrow morning is going to be very, very interesting. I'll probably do like a protein shake, some yogurt. Honestly, that will be fine. Maybe I can get some fruit down, we'll see. I don't know, cause I'm feeling like it's gonna be really bad. I literally have goldfish just sitting on my tongue. That's disgusting. Okay, I have this toothpaste that is um, by Therabrat. I'm gonna use this because it's not minty. It's like not as intense. I feel like it's a better for the given circumstances. I hope y'all can understand me because I'm not about to add subtitles to everything I'm saying. Okay, so brushing my teeth isn't really the problem. How the fuck am I gonna clean my tongue? I know I'm not gonna use my tongue brush because it's too big of a surface. I have a, mm, I'll try it actually. So I was just gonna use the back of my toothbrush. Okay, let's try to clean my tongue. I don't know about this. There's no way I can't, I got food on it. Ah. <laughs> But 
that wasn't too bad. I feel like I'm not getting a super deep clean, but I'm probably gonna have to sacrifice. This one still have a stink ass breath. All that moving around made that shit hurt. It's just very short. So now I'm gonna mix some of this mouthwash with water. <laughs> okay. Good enough, not too bad. All right, you guys, so I'm done brushing my teeth and I'm now in bed. I am still editing, but I just wanted to be in a more comfortable setting now that it's almost 11.30 at night. But I'm gonna go ahead and stop filming for tonight just because I'm just gonna be chilling in bed until I go to sleep. The big question, you know what I'm most curious about is what this is gonna feel like in the morning. It's getting pretty sore, it's definitely swollen. I'm mad I can't clean my tongue as well as I wanted to. I know it'll be worth it, but it'll be a very interesting morning, and I'll definitely be showing you guys what that is like. But that is it for tonight, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. So I just woke up, or I actually woke up before nine. Right now it's nine oh nine. The one time I try to sleep in, but no, more. I don't even sleep until nine. But I feel really good. I feel well rested for some reason. I woke up to my tongue swollen. Swollen. I'm gonna have to do subtitles. I could feel it before I even looked at it. Or swear it was like. Ooh, it's very swollen. When I just let my tongue rest, it doesn't hurt. But, of course, the more talking I do, the more it moves and the more irritated it will get. But it's worth it for you guys. And if I actually had company over, I would be talking regardless. But I'm going to be at home today. I won't have company over, so I am just going to be chilling. And I'll be able to let my tongue rest for a majority of the day. I'm so terrible. I'm so close. Now, I'm not complaining. I do this to myself. And I'm so happy I went through with it. I'm just gonna deal with the aftermath for a couple of days. I feel like it'll be pretty bad <laughs> for a couple of days. But it will be worth it. Cause I wanted this piercing really bad. I'm gonna try to eat for breakfast. I'll probably have a protein shake and I could try oatmeal. I'll try, I should. Maybe soup as well for breakfast. I don't give a fuck, so. Damn, coffee? Can I even drink to a stone? I don't think that's safe. Let me look it up. My friend that's had a tongue piercing before literally just gave me tips on how to deal with it. She said, and don't drink out of a straw. <laughs> I'm so mad. It's over. We can go through a coffee detox. Cause I ain't about to drink coffee the way I'm over here trying to drink water. It's all good. That probably wouldn't be the best to drink right now anyways. To have all up on my tongue. Okay, so, hey, little update. It is still the same day since I talked to you guys, but right now it's 4.47. So, it's been, I think it's definitely been over four hours since I last talked to you guys. I've been editing all day. I just finished this video, this transformation video that will definitely be up by the time this video is up. It's one hour and six minutes long. That is insane. Finish that. My tongue definitely is not as irritated as it was earlier, but it is definitely still a struggle to talk as you can tell. I have been out home a majority of the day by myself so i haven't really talked much throughout the day which definitely helps as far as food 
I ate grapes, three hash browns, a protein shake, some goldfish, and I think that's it. I kind of hear mixed information, kind of mixed opinions, but from what I'm seeing, I'm not completely sure. But number one, you're not supposed to switch with mouthwash that has alcohol in it. The one I got yesterday literally has 21% alcohol in it, so I'm going to be getting a different one that does not have alcohol in it. I also read that it's not good to have dairy. Apparently, that can kind of irritate it. I'm trying to think of other ways I can get protein in without dairy. Then again, when I make protein shakes, I use almond milk so that's not even dairy so i could still do that but i am going to try to avoid those things right now my tongue has this kind of white film over it which i looked up what that is and it seems to be normal but that does not mean it's cute to look at so i don't really know if i want to show you guys and it's not horrible i guess it's just a part of the healing process i look ridiculous if someone walked past my car right now that would not be cute so this is my first time leaving the house today and I'm about to go to the store and just pick up a couple other options, soft food options that I can eat. I haven't eaten a whole lot today, but I'm also not super duper hungry. Normally I would have eaten a lot more by this time and a lot bigger serving sizes, but I think just because my body knows I'm kind of having trouble with that right now, it's not craving as much food, but I still want to eat. So I'm about to go to the store, pick up some snacks. I want gummies, not fruit roll-ups, that'd be hard to eat, but maybe like some gummies, some applesauce. I don't have a list. I was just going to pick up anything I saw the store that I would enjoy eating right now. I'm leaving the grocery store now. When I tell you I got nothing with uh, nutrients in it, I had anything really good for you. I am basically using this as an opportunity to eat whatever the fuck I want for a couple of days. And I mean, I still have food at the house. I just wanted some enjoyable snack options that I could choose from because I didn't really, you know, get food in advance for this experience. I didn't get mouthwash. That's annoying. I do not want to go anywhere else. You know what? I'm going to... Excuse me, why are you backing up? I'm going to suck it up. I'm going to suck up, you know, using the mouthwash. That's probably not the healthiest for my tongue piercing until tomorrow. I think I'll be okay if I go, you know, one more night using that. But, you know, I got my food. I got my snacks. I got a bunch of snacks. Snacks I have not had in the longest time, and I am so excited. So, with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the house. Bring my groceries upstairs. And then we're going to try to eat some snacks together and have a little taste test. Taste test. These taste like disinfectant wipes. I'll eat them. Won't be buying them again. I heard you're not supposed to suck through a straw. And this seems similar enough to a straw to me, so I'm gonna just dump it in my mouth. The easiest one yet. This is dairy-free yogurt. They use coconut milk instead. I used to get this yogurt all the time. It was so good. all right you guys so update it is now my second full day of in the process on day two of having my tongue piercing i can't believe it's only been two days because i feel like so much has progressed even since then <laughs> Somebody just ran completely into a pole or like a huge cement pole in the parking deck and I feel so bad She's fine. She's driving off. I don't think she damaged her car. I would just be so embarrassed But she she good she rolling so little update So I'm just trying to keep you guys in the loop without kind of dragging it on too much But we are in the process of day two right now. Um, this is what it's looking like. I Did eat strawberry jello 
and you see it's still very swollen there's these marks on the side of my tongue and I've never had that before what I think it is is that since my tongue has been pierced I've kind of developed this white layer on my tongue I looked into it and I found out that that is normal it's kind of just like healthy bacteria on your tongue it's kind of just a part of the healing process I was a little concerned at first but I did just get out of Target and I got this mouthwash that I had seen a lot of people suggest and I think this would be a much better option than what I'm using right now this is biotin dry mouth oil Oral rinse is also alcohol free and I heard that using mouthwash with alcohol in it can kind of just prolong the healing process and it's just not healthy for it so I got this as far as pain right now I am NOT in pain it's just still uncomfortable it still does feel like I have a foreign object in my tongue and I'm very excited for the day that it doesn't even feel like there's anything in my mouth but it still definitely does I didn't even update you guys last night because the pain was horrible it was pretty bad it got to the point where it was throbbing it was super swollen I was too uncomfortable to even talk but I took Advil and within 30 minutes it completely went away not the swelling but the throbbing was gone and it wasn't super duper uncomfortable anymore but so far whenever I wake up in the morning you know I was scared that I would be waking up with just excruciating pain but in the morning is actually when it's the least painful for me because that's before I start talking trying to eat moving around my tongue irritating it etc so the mornings haven't been too bad for me today i haven't eaten too much but i had a majority of a protein shake i had a hash brown i had a little bit of iced coffee i could barely finish it and had some water i've also had a cup of jello i've had one of those applesauce packet things and i think that's it i'm actually about to go to chick-fil-a and i am so excited i'm going to get mac and cheese because i know i can eat mac and cheese if i can eat a hash brown you know maybe some chicken nuggets maybe the grilled nuggets because they're not as crunchy they're a little bit softer maybe a frosted lemonade or something i'm not supposed to drink through a straw or that's what I've heard so I can just kind of scoop it out of the cup when I get home but this is what it's looking like I never finished what I was saying, but I think the markings on the side of my tongue is because of the white layer. But whenever I rest my tongue in my mouth, my teeth rub against that. So I think it's kind of rubbing off the white layer. So there are those markings that I've never had before. So I'm assuming it's just a part of the process as well. Um, my piercer did say if I'm dealing with any, you know, really bad irritation or just feel like I need to go back in, I always can. But so far, so good. There is a little white ring around my tongue piercing. I don't know if you can see that, but I looked it up and it was also saying that's a part of the healing process. And it's pretty similar to how with a regular ear piercing, when it's in the healing process, it'll crust, kind of create a scab around it. That's what my tongue's doing, but since it's moist, it doesn't have the opportunity to scab up. So that's what's going on. But the more I talk, the more I definitely feel it. And since I'm normally, you know, by myself on the daily, these past couple of days have been easy because I've barely had to talk to anyone. But I am about to go get some food. I'll show you guys what that process of eating is like right now it's definitely still ridiculous but it we can get the job done so with all that being said i'll talk to you guys once i get home all right you guys so i'm about to eat and i got exactly what i said i was gonna get along with some fries which i literally ate a majority of on the way home I also got my mac and cheese, which I'm so excited about. And um, some grilled chicken. I also have these like powdered greens that I've had for quite a while. You just put a scoop into your water and you're able to get two full servings of vegetables, fruits and vegetables like that. So I feel like that's something I should be doing over these next couple of days because, you know, with my priorities being a little bit different right now when it comes to eating, you know, like I'm just trying to eat foods that are comfortable in my mouth. It's just not going to be the exact same. And I expected that but I am definitely thoroughly enjoying this experience when it comes to eating very excited but yes I'm excited to use this mouthwash I'm gonna brush my teeth try to clean my tongue or around it and you know switch with mouth mouthwash once I'm done eating we have my mac and cheese basically I have a I basically just have to figure out what side I want to eat my food on. My biggest fear is just accidentally biting down on it. And that's why I'm being extra cautious. Probably a little more cautious than I even need to. It's also crazy because now that I have so many limitations when it comes to my tongue's movement, it makes me realize exactly how my tongue works when it comes to eating. And you know what it's not able to do at the moment. Oh, I was going to get lemonade, but I didn't because it was recommended to not eat super citrusy foods because it can burn your tongue. I even have got barbecue sauce, but I'm not going to eat this because I feel like it would burn because it has vinegar in it. So I'm going to just eat my chicken nuggets straight up. The good thing about mac and cheese is you barely have to chew it. But I know I'm supposed to be sticking to softer foods, but I just needed one solid meal, please. 
I already have a list of things I would like to eat once I can properly do so again. I was thinking about that last night. Okay, so fast forward, this is about day 10, if I'm not mistaken. I literally filmed this today and I already forgot, but um, I'll just tell you guys about everything in this next segment, but I just wanted to do that instead of text. Hey guys! Okay, so it's definitely a, it's a gloomy day, but I'm just going to sit here and give you guys an update on my tongue because today makes day 10 of my, of my tongue pierce, girl, what the fuck is you doing? of my tongue piercing healing process. We are now on day 10 and this is the last update on my tongue piercing for this video because the healing process is pretty much over at this point or you know my tongue is probably still healing but i am no longer dealing with swelling pain discomfort you know not having any trouble eating it's no longer an inconvenience to me you know i'm really starting to adjust to it even with this longer barbell still in my mouth i don't even have as bad of a lisp that i had maybe three or four days ago so that is great i'm getting used to talking with it even with this longer bar like i just said which wouldn't ultimately be what would be in my mouth once my tongue piercing is healed and i can change it i am still you know pretty well adjusted to it to the point where it's like I know it's there because I'm obsessed with it and I really like it but it's not you know something I kind of have to work around anymore for the most part and I'm just basically here to say that if you have been contemplating getting a tongue piercing I highly recommend I have no doubts about it I'm not telling you to get one but if you have already been thinking about it I hope this video kind of made you feel a little more comfortable about the process and not have you steer away from it like I feel some videos or some people's experiences experiences can but everybody's body is different everybody heals differently at different speeds it's crazy how you know i got my tongue pierced let me show you guys first y'all probably like girl should i let me see what it looks like yo i tried to scrub my tongue so hard for this um outro so y'all don't think i'm dirty but um it just wasn't working So as you can see, it's no longer swollen. For a minute, I kind of forgot what my tongue even looked like not being swollen because it had just gotten so big. It literally swelled, I would say maybe three times the size. Um, it's crazy because I got pierced, you know, with this barbell. There was so much extra space. I was talking about how long the barbell was. Knowing that, you know, it needed that extra length in order for my tongue to swell. By the, I would say the second day, there was absolutely no barbell left in sight. It's crazy how much your tongue swells and the longer barbell is most definitely needed. And I was definitely wrong about day the following day being my worst day because i feel like day two and day three kind of progressively got worse it definitely got worse before it got better any video i would watch or any time i would look anything up about the tongue piercing and the healing process they would always say the actual tongue piercing itself is pretty much painless it's the healing process that sucks ass that's exactly what i dealt with and i feel like everything i watched and everything that i read was pretty much spot on to how my experience was so that's good i did see some people say how they took it out during the healing process because it was just that bad i don't think it was that bad personally but i also do have a high pain tolerance and like i said everybody is different the healing process is definitely uncomfortable i could barely eat the first couple of days as you guys saw after about day three i stopped updating you guys on a daily because i just kind of had a similar experience over the next couple of days until the swelling started to go down so what you guys saw is pretty much as worse as it got for me It's um, 12 a.m., but I just wanted to add this little, just, I just wanted to say that your tongue, if you do get your tongue pierced, is going to go through this phase that I didn't document much of, but you're going to get this really disgusting, it's likely you're going to get this disgusting white film on your tongue, and it's not necessarily disgusting, it's just not cute. Your breath going to stink a little bit more, your breath going to be a little hot, it just go through, goes through this phase where... Your tongue is kind of just growing healthy bacteria on it. It's all a part of the healing process, but it's really disgusting. And I'm going to insert a couple pictures of how actually no, I'm not. Okay, <laughs> we're done here. But overall, it's not the end of the world. The piercing itself, I barely felt it. I would do it again in a heartbeat. It honestly felt like a little low piercing. I feel like I was more in shock of getting a needle through my tongue, but the actual piercing, I swear to you, I didn't even feel that sharp pinch that you normally feel um, with piercing. So definitely one of the least painful I've had. And even though I have a high pain tolerance, I feel like even with the low pain tolerance, you would barely feel that. Like you really don't feel anything, but I'm so happy with it. 
and I'm so excited for it to, you know, heal a little bit more so I can change my barbell. I've seen that some people change it after five days, but I'm just gonna wait because number one, the one I ordered hasn't even came in the mail yet, so that's a really good reasoning, but also I just want to give it some time because it's only been a little over a week, but I love it. It's like gloomy, but the sun is trying to peek through. At the same time, I have a couple things I need to get done today, but I definitely wanted to end this video when I was no longer struggling because I didn't want you guys to think the experience is just super long and dreadful and horrible it's really not that bad and I do recommend it if it is something that you are interested in I'm obsessed with it I feel like it definitely makes a statement and y'all probably see me play with my tongue like throughout my videos it's gonna get annoying uh, see how long the barbell is but guys that's gonna be it for today's video I really hope this video kind of gave you some insight on the whole experience kind of showed you guys what it's really like super happy with mine I never want to take it out I absolutely love mine I cannot believe I did it I was so nervous going into it just because I'm a very dramatic person and I kind of just emphasize the thought of a needle going through my tongue but it is not bad whatsoever it's really not but with all that being said that's going to be it for today's video i really really hope you guys enjoyed it i had so much fun filming this process including the actual piercing itself and then the days after that experience but that is going to be it for today i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have got all the way to the end and you have not subscribed yet please make sure to do so also if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!